One day on the island of Sodor, Gordon was complaining about his hard work. Oh, the indignity! He offered to himself. Just then, Thomas rushed in to talk to Gordon. Hello, Gordon. He, he peeped. Working hard all day? No, of Gordon crossly. I am. I am. A, I am taking on those flatbed truck all the way. All the way to Burnham Docks. Well, you should be going that big blue engine, boasted Thomas. And that made Gordon really cross the steel. Working real hard, he thought. This is. This is. So I thought I am going to pull the express for real good. And now, he added, I need to go pull the express. And without the. And the instead of pulling some flatbed trucks. Thomas just laughed. Well, you have to. You have to do your work all day, Gordon. He laughed. He, he chuckled. And then you could pull the express. Gordon was furious. Just as the gas was a blue, he left, leaving Thomas feeling quite concerned. Just then, when Gordon arrived at the point, he noticed that Nelson was changing lines and was about to switch lines for Gordon. Gordon gasped and put on his brakes really quickly. Just at ne just as Nelson stopped, and so was Gordon. I'm sorry, Gordon," replied Nelson. Gordon was very cross with, with, ne with Nelson. Why can't you watch where you're going? He, he asked. You almost you almost made me cause an accident. Before Nelson could say another word, Gordon fumed away, grumbling. This made Nelson very cross indeed. Just then, Gordon was waiting impatiently for all of his passengers on board when Percy rolled up alongside him. Hello, Gordon, he chuffed. Everything's, everything's feeling alright? Well, that may be, huffed Gordon, but all those passen extra passengers are slowing me down. Just then, Gordon a blues whistle to hurry to hurry them up. Hurry up, he complained. Gordon was still grumbling. Just as Gold's whistle blew, he left. Finally, he he said complaining. Gordon as he left at Russell Station, leaving Percy felt leaving leaving Percy felt feeling Filled his fly out of his funnel. Later that evening, as Percy returned home to Tidmer Sheds, he didn't feel very cheerful at all. Gordon was complaining to me about about the time when he about the time when he complains about this, said Thomas. He tells me about be careful because I almost caused an accident. Because there's plenty. He told me that his passengers are slowing him down, replied Percy. Gordon seems determined into a holiday season, into this weather, into one big trouble, said Thomas, just as pain, just as pain arrived. I'm sure Wade cheers up when he, see, when he sees about those sheds, he said. And then, the light from Tinder Sheds turned on. And that made the engines gasped. The engines cheered at once, just as Gordon came up. Humph, he offed to himself. All this ground, all these rails makes my wheels feel slush. And my wheels are wet and gritty. Well, replied Peyton, I feel good as new. The fat controller will be giving us a fresh coat of paint for the new, for the new spring. Typical, huffed Gordon. Why do we have to get special treatment? But the fat controller has the same idea," Ch cried Nelson. There'll be new, there'll be us fresh new coat of paint for us trains too. 
a fresh coat of paint," replied Gordon. "But not for long," he added crossly. "With all the work I have to do," and he puffed away, complaining. If we could only wait to find Gordon to start complaining all the time," said Percy, "or even add a Thomas for one day." I think I'll have a word with the fat controller right away," replied Peyton, and all of his engines agreed. First thing the following morning, Gordon sped up to the works, where he saw Danny talking to the fat controller. He he tooted his whistle loudly. Morning, sir," he peeped. "I'm come to my beautiful, freshest coat of paint." "Is that right?" said the fat controller. Well, I heard that the other engines that you've been grumbling on lot lately. Gordon gasped. What? No. Well, he added, more no more than usual. You've been making everyone feel unhappy," said the fat controller sternly. And when the engines aren't happy, they don't work so well. That's just the way I am," said Gordon. And you could like it or not. Why、well, don't like it, Gordon? Said the fat controller. You could be first in line for the new coat of paint, and he added, and only if you could be fit, fresh for, and be rest of today. Gordon felt vi- Gordon was feeling impressed. I I see. Well, he added, no problem, sir. I could do that right away, and he puffed off. Don't forget now," added the fat controller. "Cheerful all day. The other engines will be keeping an eye on you." Meanwhile, Gordon was feeling ha- chuckling along happily. "I could be friendly all day," he said to his driver. "Me bother." On his way, he met Thomas at the junction. "Don't forget to take your passengers on time, Gordon," ca- called Thomas. Yes, thanks for reminding, Thomas," said Gordon, and he chuffed hard, and he chuffed away. Meanwhile, Gordon was taking Gordon. Gordon was at Napa Station waiting for his passengers when Percy rolled up alongside him. "Hello, Gordon," he he peeped. "How's it going?" "Completely good, Percy," said Gordon. "Thank you." Just as the guard's whistle blew, he left. Gordon was making great time until when he found that poor Emily's wheels got stuck on on his heel, and so he stopped. He tried to blow his whistle loudly. "Come on, Emily!" he he shouted. "What's the hold up?" And then. Danny knows there's something, something strange for, for the situation. Sorry, Gordon," wailed Emily. "I can't go on because my wheels keep slipping on the icy track." "Can you just go on with the little sand?" shouted Gordon. Emily sighed. "I'm afraid my sandbox is empty." Then Gordon realized that by getting grumpy. He had hurt Emily's feelings, and so Gordon bowed her back to Emily's coaches and pushed her on her way again. Until at last, he managed to reach her at the top. Woo! Cheered Emily. Thanks, Gordon. And then Danny heard all of this too. Gordon felt a little sad that he lost his temper, and he knew what that meant. No coat of paint for him. Later that evening, Gordon sped back to the steamworks to, de- to tell the fat controller what he had done. "Hello, sir," said Gordon sadly. "I know I wasn't. I know that I failed the challenge. I wasn't sure for all day, but say no more, Gordon," said the fat controller. "You the you the really good helping from yesterday." Helping out poor Emily when she was in spot of bother. Am I? Asked Gordon, 
Then he turned he turned proudly to to Emily. Thank you, Emily, he called. What a splendid nice engine you are. Oh, it's nothing really, Gordon, said Emily. You will be a friendly, really engine. And that made Gordon feel much better. Feeling friendly is the most really reliable engine on the whole railway. And Emily, however, just had to agree. And then the fat controller was very happy. Do 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 do